previously on Family Business. Give me that! Right now, we're just going crazy. I was just killing everybody at this point, averaging like 30 a game. They played about as well as they could. And their coach was just going ballistic, screaming at everybody. You are trying, dude. Time to put our foot in the gas and just battle. You know, we took care of business in the first two sessions of the Adidas circuit. They just weren't even ready for us. It was a grind, and we played eight games, but we proved that we're the best team out there. Now we're back in North Carolina, just trying to settle in, rest our bodies, and get a little recovery in. You know, we were supposed to be recovering, and then all of a sudden my dad had us doing this body tempering thing. He puts all of his pressure like on that one spot in your leg and just rolls it out, all the inflammation and tissue. Man, it hurts so bad. Now it's time to actually relax and just chill out and get some food. Adidas been crazy, a lot of good competition. Right now we're 8-0 uh, on the Adidas gauntlet. But overall, we've just been playing really good and winning games. So. Yeah, basically people said I was playing in these other tournaments that weren't circuit level. Basically said I wasn't playing competition. Then came to the circuit, one of the best teams in the circuit, and averaging 20 plus, so now they can't say nothing. You know, we're taking a break from Adidas because the third session doesn't start for a little while, so you know, we're going to drive it to Atlanta and play in the Bob Gibbons tournament. It's a legendary tournament. You know, it's going to be a lot of shoe teams there, Nike, Under Armour, Adidas. Just looking forward to get after it, man. Everybody said I couldn't perform on the uh, Adidas circuit, but now playing on the Adidas circuit, playing against the best competition, I did what I was supposed to do. Like, they don't realize national high school level is way yeah. better than they Yeah, it is. Yeah. And they say you can't play Nike, so we'll, we'll see this weekend. While we're there, we're going to stop by OTE. Line them up, knock them down. We've done a lot of hooping recently, and it's time for us to just rest a little bit. You know, beautiful day, time to hit the lake for some fishing. Man, hopefully Eli, you know, eats another worm or something. I will not be eating any worms again. Bro, I'm not freaking playing with you, bro. That's not funny. <laughs> bro, if you push me, I'm actually gonna fall on purpose just so you have to pay for my cash. What a sore, what a L, man. Put the crutches down, walk away, and take the L. Who's better at fishing than you, brother? Definitely me. I'm way better at fishing. Really Look at that cat. I think sucks at fishing. He says he's pretty good though. Yeah, and I can dunk. You're not going to catch anything though. Hey Eli, I just need you to, every time I catch, just say, you're not going to catch anything, bro. So when I do catch one, that will be a heck of a scene. No, it won't. Isaac's not a fisherman. I'm a real fisherman. <laughs> Can't even fish no more. The line broke. I'm a pro at this. I do this for a living. You know, he took 30 casts and nothing. It's not looking promising right now. I mean, we're not catching anything, but I swear we're good at this. Maybe we just need a little break. Bro, well, can you believe some of these comments here? What are they saying? This is like watching a train wreck in slow motion. Oh yeah, definitely. We have a ton of haters on our YouTube comments. I, I don't even read them anymore. What's the goal, question mark? Basketball or becoming a YouTube star? And a lot of it's really ruthless, like saying we're not that good. They're only good because they can shoot. Overrated. They're trash. They suck. We're never going to be good. They don't play against competition. I'm going to end up as a 5'10 McDonald's worker. You know, the same old stuff. If we want to be YouTube stars, we'd become YouTubers. We don't have our own YouTube channel. A lot of people who watch the videos, they don't understand, like, how intense the high school games are that we play in. Like we're playing for scholarships. Like everybody's playing to go to college for free. They don't realize how much is on the line like when we're playing. And what do you get out of responding to a hate comment? You get nothing but more hate, so I just leave it alone. There's one Augustus dude. He comments on every single thing and he goes off like big paragraphs and stuff. I don't know who he is, but he just keeps going and going and going and arguing with people in the comments. You're an adult coming on 14, 15 year olds posts like. Go ahead and start hitting back. Unlike this fishing right now, we've done our thing on the AU circuit. All right, hit me with the pole. Bob Gibbons will be even more proof that we can perform on this level. Oh, keep walking. Oh, Rick. Bum. Next day, we're heading out to Atlanta for this Bob Gibbons tournament. We're going to Atlanta, Georgia um, for Bob Gibbons tournament, but then before that, tonight, we'll be at the OTE event, OTE takeover part two. Bro, Eli, can you believe you got another takeover, bro? We're constantly on the road, always traveling. That's just the life of AU. 
You know, this time we're back at OT and we got the whole squad pulling up. We got Ham, Coach Malik, Abu, Elijah, everybody. The overtime crew is here and we're seeing a bunch of familiar faces. Hey, then my guy Tyler, he came up and talked to us. He made us these tough house money tees and it's super nice of him to do that for us. One thing I love about OT is the facilities and all the staff are very nice, good people, and they know what they're doing. They throwing dirt up on my name, cause I'm about these, cause I'm coming from the hood, wasn't born like First this. event, the OT takeover, they had a big dunk show. How'd you let that money talk? Take it to the there's some Hoopers here, some influencers, and some celebrities. Yeah, Jermaine Parker, the Thompson Twins, and Big Nathan from France. Oh yeah, you know, the dunks that they're doing, they're crazy. Like, stuff I couldn't even imagine doing, they're just doing it. You know, after a while, it starts to wind down, and you know, we got these games tomorrow, so we gotta head out. As we're walking down, heading towards the exit, we spot Paige. I didn't really want to make the first move, you know, because it's like, it's Paige. So my dad kind of stepped in and started talking to her. So he asked her if uh, she wanted to do a shootout. Did you get that on camera when she said no? She said no. <laughs> that was funny. I guess her curved, rejected. Dang, that's an L. I think he unfollowed her after that. <laughs> You know, either way, it was a fun event, and it was just fun to be able to come back and watch some hoops. First game with Bob Gibbons. We're playing against God First as our first game. People kind of see us as the best 16U team in the country. We added a few players just to see if they could fit in our system. We got Elijah, we got Cam, Gabe, we got Abu. And that'd be good impact guys to come in. And just be able to do stuff off the bench. I'm not playing. They said I have a broken fifth metatorsal, so I'm, I'll be out for a while. If you're not on ball, you're talking. You want to be so loud that you need to hear us in here. We're just trying to show people that we can dominate outside of Adidas. This is going to be another test for us. We're just going to prove our dominance right now. As a team, we're just doing our thing right now. Knocking down threes and just making good plays. Even with me out, we're killing. Hampton Evans really stepped up. Now that Isaac's out, being a really good impact guy and scoring, giving us buckets that we need. All right, now we're just running up the score and making this other team look foolish. We just ran up the score. Yeah, game. We're just putting on a show. Bottom line, you take a bad shot, you're gonna see it. Somehow, my dad's still mad. Play good basketball. The team that we're playing wasn't very good. We're definitely looking over them. Everybody's being a little cocky and taking bad shots. You can already see they're tired now. You gotta fight like your life depends on, on the defensive end now. We'll be back in the game, I promise. Overall, effort's great. Effort's good. Let's just get better. Finish on three. We were getting a little too high-headed and we are making sloppy plays. This team, we just looked over them and, you know, everybody was kind of trying to get theirs. They see us from North Carolina, who's 8-0, and they're just trying to put us in our place. My dad was like, the next person to take a bad shot has to come over the bench and do push-ups. I didn't think it was a bad shot, but I shot a layup and somehow there were three people there. Y'all's got to leave. You have to leave or you will not play at the highest level. 
I know what's uncomfortable. You don't know what to say. I was trying to talk. Talk to him. I was talking to him. No, you didn't. What did you just say? I was trying to talk. What did you say? I said, well, we got to get into something. Talk to him. Talk to him now. Now. These other teams are going to kill us if we play like this. You know, we just got to put this game away because my dad, he's losing it. It's left in the second half, and we're just trying to put this game away. You're up 40 at one point. Win the game. Win the game. Bravo! That's the third draft of your call. Yeah, they were definitely chirping a little bit. Don't get stupid. They ain't got, they ain't got nothing to lose. You know, we ended up getting a commanding win, but it was a rough game in general. I mean, everybody's got the goal playing D1. I'm just telling you. One, you got to play harder. Two, you got to play a lot smarter. You know, for anyone trying to get offers, that was not D1 basketball. I'm just telling you, I don't want any more bad shots. I can't, that's not who people know us are. They know us as playing good basketball. All right, you break. One, two, three, two. Yeah. On the next episode of family business. They scrappy, so we can't, can't take them lightly, man. Of course, everybody wants to hand us our first L. Our AU team are undefeated right now, 15-0. It's getting heated in here. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are non-stop, and we're just getting started. Get like me, and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below, and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.